The United States Navy is currently in the process of designing its next-generation missile destroyer, the DDGX, which is scheduled to enter service in the 2030s. The U.S. Navy has now settled on the top-line requirements for the DDGX. Let's examine this newly revealed information. Coming up next on the Stealth Channel. Rear Admiral Fred Pyle, the U.S. Navy's Director of Surface Warfare, said during a panel at the Surface Navy Association's annual conference in Arlington, Virginia, I think we have a good sight picture of the DDGX top-level requirements. They have been endorsed. I think the imperative of the DDGX is the warfighting imperative, Pyle said. It's going to bring us the opportunity to use larger missile launchers. It's going to bring us the opportunity to use more higher power lasers and long-range strike hypersonic weapons, as well as sensor growth, as we go into the future. One of those sensors is Raytheon Spy-6 radar, which is currently being integrated on U.S. Navy ships. The powerful sensor will inevitably be improved upon, but may require more power by the 2030s, Pyle said. As for directed energy weapons, the U.S. Navy has now received six high-energy lasers with integrated optical dazzler and surveillance, or Helios, systems from its maker Lockheed Martin. They are now being integrated onto ships, said Rear Admiral Seiko Okano, Program Executive Officer for Integrated Warfare Systems. Pyle said systems such as Helios are now mainly tasked for self-defense, but that will evolve to offense. We're going to continue to invest with directed energy to get to those higher levels so we can move beyond self-defense and get into more warfighting missions, he said. The DDGX is expected to provide more onboard energy to provide the needed energy for more powerful radars or lasers, he added. Missiles will also inevitably become larger, Pyle said. The new standard missile 6, or SM-6, which can do anti-air defense, ballistic missile defense and anti-surface warfare, is being integrated onto U.S. Navy ships now, Okano said. The so what behind DDGX is that capability to deliver larger missile launchers, so we can have a stick that beats that of our adversaries. I think that's a key element, Pyle said. Pyle also mentioned hypersonic missiles as another weapon the DDGX could host. The Navy is currently developing the conventional prompt strike weapon, which would travel at speeds higher than Mach 5 and be maneuverable. Service officials have stated that they want the new weapon to be ready by 2028, a few years before the DDGX is fielded. We hope you enjoyed learning about this update to the U.S. Navy's DDGX program. To learn more about the DDGX program, be sure to view our previous video on the DDGX. Be sure to like, subscribe, share, and leave a comment to help our channel grow and thanks for watching.